Well, hey everybody. Uh, I just want to make another quick little video today. Hopefully it won't be 10 minutes. Uh, I want to show some problems with my air system and uh, just want to crank her up again. It's from, for one day the ice is just about all gone. So just want to crank her up. See how she likes the uh, warmer weather a little bit better. So, and uh, what I want to do is uh, after I crank it up, I'm gonna let it uh, build up air pressure. There's the key. And we'll put her in. Uh, there we go. All right. Now, it's the first start since last night. You know how much hell it was last night. So, here's the pedal. I'm not pressing anything. <coughs> Notice my air gauges are totally uh, empty so let's give her a whirl brakes on blow plug light and brake pressure light let's see uh, battery or temperature light all right i'm gonna give her three glow plug cycles today so that's one this is two all right there's three here we go and one start One start. Now I've got my foot on the gas just a little bit, but I ain't gonna rev it up. So notice my battery. Uh, I guess that's my yeah, my battery charge is way over there. So, I got a place for a throttle off, but I uh, don't have one, and I won't attack. My God. So all right. The. Uh, Air pressure, that's the brake pressure light right there that's uh, on. So, zoom in a little bit here. It's climbing. And I didn't see how much it smoked, but whatever. I'm just happy it started up. Uh, when the brake light goes off, and then it goes off, like I said, it goes off about 70 pounds. So, still building. About 60 right now, you can't see it. Oil pressure's right at 60. And there she goes. 70 pounds. I think maybe a better, I think it may be about 70, 75 is right there in the middle, I believe. When uh, it builds up to 120 and uh, fully uh, builds up, I'm going to cut it off and walk around there and let you see the uh, filter that's leaking. It's so rusted, it's bubbled and mushroomed and leaking air. So. And uh, another thing, the question I was wanting to ask is, notice when we started the bus, my air tanks were empty. Uh, and the tank doesn't have a uh, leak on it, but the filter, the air dryer filter does it. It's a screw-on type filter. You just screws off and on. And, uh, I don't know where to get one. I mean, I haven't called anybody, but I was just wanting to know. I was wanting to ask some of you people that personally have a bus kind of like mine, so you might know to uh, give me uh, some tips on where to go get one. But, so, but uh, the question, though, is because of that filter having a leak in it, would it drain the whole system down? Because I was wondering if that filter, it's, uh, does the air go through that filter to the, I mean, I know it does, but you know, it, I was wondering if it, even when the bus isn't running and you don't push the brakes, does air still 
seep out through that filter, or does it just uh, filter the air when you mash the brake? So when I get out and when it pump, when it charges up and uh, uh, cut it off and go around there, I want to uh, show you what's going on. So, it takes a good little bit too to pump up on, and it's probably not the greatest either. But, so. My uh, transmission looks like it's in drive, if you've noticed that, but it's, the marker thing isn't quite exactly right, but it's in uh, neutral. It's almost there. When I hear the uh, air cleaner go up, uh, I'll cut it off. First startup today is really happy about that. It's good for the battery too. Almost there. There she goes. Alright, I'm gonna take my foot off the gas. And uh look at everything. My pressure's good. This thing is what's rattling. Need to put some screws in there. Yeah. So let's uh, shut her off. All right, and notice the brake pressure. When right when we cut it off, it's right there at 120. So let me get my lovely tablecloth, my flower tablecloth, and uh, we'll go have a look up in, around it. Real quick, so here we go. First thing I want to show you is the uh, filter that's leaking. Oh, you can probably still hear it hissing. Here she be. That's the. Uh, I know you see there's oil kind of right there, but get it on my pants, I'll never get it off. Um, there's it says control. But that's the filter, that's what's leaking. That's about as good as I can, well, I don't know if you can see it, it's trying to, there around the bottom, it's uh, kind of rusted out, I guess from its age, but I need to uh, get another one. So where do, where do, where would I get one at? Is it, does AutoZone sell them or anything like that? It's a uh, Midland, Ron or something like that. And it's, it says hand tighten only on it. So, and that's my air cleaner or air dryer. That's what's leaking. Although it's not hissing right now, which it should be. I guess I hadn't used the brakes. Here's my uh, air tank. My three part air tank. As you can see, there's the three different sections. Here's the wet, the wet, the uh, primary, and then the secondary is over there. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and drain them for you. Why not? Uh, but, well, I won't. It's just air draining. But, it's got air and I want to go in and see how much the air is leaked down. So, let's get out of here. Uh, Alright. Alright, well that's what's leaking. I know it is. But, I mean, other than that, it's, they work. I mean, when they're pumped up and I'm driving on the highway, I mean, it'll, it'll skid. I mean, the brakes are so good. But see, it's, uh, remember it was right at 120. It was just a tad bit over the 120 mark. And I haven't mashed the brakes or opened the drain valves or nothing. So it's leaking just a little bit. So, get, um... I mean, everything works. I mean, here's the air, the knob, pushed it in, and so the parking brake knob works and everything, and I'm going to mash the brake all the way to the floor and let up on it one time, and you see, this is where they're at, it's between, I think it's about 100 pounds, now I'm going to mash the brake all the way to the floor and hold it for about two seconds and let go and see how far it drops, and let me know if that's bad or not. I mean, I know it is, but just let me know what you think. There we go. There's the brakes mashed all the way to the floor. 
and I'm holding it and I let off so they were at 100 now they're right below 90 I'm gonna mash them one more time all right to the floor there you go now I'm letting off so they drain a lot probably not as much as they should but that isn't a real big tank either so so let me know what you think that'll be uh, real helpful to me because I don't know like I said I'm starting to learn about this stuff and everything so any advice you could give me would help me out so thanks for watching